Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In 2020, OnePlus released two pair of headphones, the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z as well as the OnePlus Buds. Both of them were released with two different sets of devices. Now, right now, we obviously have the OnePlus Buds with the brand new OnePlus Nord, and the OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z were announced at the time of the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. Both of them are offering us long battery life. Both are offering us low latency when it comes to Bluetooth connections, specifically with OnePlus devices. Which one should you consider and which one is the best one for you? This is TK. Let's go ahead and do this quick comparison from latency, audio quality, and connectivity between the Wireless Bullet Z and the OnePlus Buds. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified too whenever we have new videos on the channel. So here I have both pairs of headphones. Uh, the big difference that will stand out to us first, obviously, is that these are not true wireless. My means is I actually have a neckband that houses the wiring as well as the batteries for the headphones. And of course, the true, the OnePlus Buds in white are the current ones. These are true wireless. These are the first true wireless from OnePlus in this ecosystem. Now, both are trying to offer us an extended battery life. What I mean by that is this is offering us up to 30 hours, and this is one is offering us up to 20 hours of playback included with the entire ecosystem. Now, the 30 hours that they're mentioning here is included with the battery that's in the case itself. So we're here, we don't have a case, everything is enclosed in here. Of course, both are gonna be charged via USB-C, so they both feature USB-C. Both of them don't have wireless charging, so they're both gonna be charged very quickly. Now, they do include cables in the box for both of them, you're able to charge, or you're able to just use it for the same charging cable that comes with your OnePlus Nord or any other OnePlus device. Now, during the announcement, there was one feature that stood out to me out of all of the features that we talked about. On top of the fact, obviously, that these are true wireless, they're going to play music for an extended amount of time. The price point about $80 here in the U.S. and $50 here in the U.S. That was really a lot of good things that they covered. But one thing that did stand out to me was that low latency. In the past, I did a video for you guys talking about the low latency on the OnePlus Wireless Bullet Z, specifically with OnePlus devices and Fanatic mode whenever we're playing games. Bluetooth historically has had a latency issue that gamers have always suffered from, and low latency is always something that I like to be able to test and make sure that this is something that we're able to use for an extended amount of time for gameplay, but not only that, for audio quality. The OnePlus Buds also featured that same feature specifically with OnePlus devices and again with Fanatic mode. So today we're going to do a audio comparison. We're also going to do a gaming comparison and latency comparison. We'll test out the latency between both of them as well as of course which one should you consider and of course the, does the price point make sense for what they're offering us uh, specifically for OnePlus and OnePlus devices. Um, coincidentally, both of these headphones will work just the same with any other device and I did pair them with my Galaxy S20 Ultra just to, so, so that we have that comparison between both devices. Now when we look at it, actually some of the main things that they do share, uh, warp charging, long battery life are both, so up to 20 hours here on the White Bullet Z and up to 30 hours here with the included case. Uh, magnetic controls, those are only functional here since these are the only ones that can actually magnetically control. And what you get essentially is that once you put them together, the audio will pause on your player, specifically OnePlus devices, and when you separate them, you have that resume functionality built in. Waterproof, meaning if you're exercising, you're not going to have to worry about that. Quick switch, which also gives you the ability of switching between multiple devices. So you're currently paired device and the last Bluetooth device that you paired. And again, we did test that out before. And then low latency mode, specifically with Fanatic mode. Now, the quick switch is also present here on the OnePlus Buds, as well as the water resistance, so you're able to play, uh, exercise with them. Magnetic control isn't, long battery life and warp charging is. So overall, a lot of similarities between the two. The biggest difference, obviously, is that we have true wireless headphones here. So when I take them out, you'll notice that the design is basically pretty much true wireless. There's no wires connected there. Three microphones, touch sensitive controls, which we don't have here. So the only controls that we have in here essentially is the ability of doing a quick switch, meaning switching between two different devices that is paired by double pressing this little button that's present here. That's also the power button and the uh, sync button that we want to be able to pair it to a new device. On the actual buds themselves, we don't have noise cancellation, but what we have essentially is because of the three microphones, a noise reduction for better audio performance when you're talking to somebody over uh, the phone. Um, as far as the environmental noise cancellation, that's why we were talking about the 30 hours charging again with the included case. And this one does actually feature a button here to be able to initiate the pairing for the headphones. And then ease of use, because of the connectivity that they're talking about, it actually pairs very, very nicely and very quickly to a OnePlus device. The first thing we'll jump into here, you'll notice that I'm able to actually go in. So let's go ahead and click the settings tab. We're able to see the battery level on the case as well as the earbuds themselves. So you'll see it's 100% on each earbud and of course the case. I'm also able to be able to actually find my device. So it actually has the ability of ringing the earpieces directly so that I can find them in case I lose them. 
We also received the final update that a lot of people were talking about in their reviews or the initial reviews that we saw after the announcement of the OnePlus Buds. Uh, and that's the ability of programming or reprogramming the tab double tap functionality on each ear tip. Each ear tip has a touch sensitive area that currently only works with a double tap. So, uh, the, and then of course, there's the ability of switching devices with the press and hold. The double tap has the ability of right now out of the box to do basically a track forward. So that's the next track. And now with the new update, we're able to do pause and play voice assistant as the Google assistant on our device. And of course, previous tap. And you can configure that independently for each device. So right now, on my, uh, as far as you can see here on my left ear, but if I double tap, I'll get the Google Assistant. And if I double tap on the right ear, ta uh, the ear one, I'll be able to basically pick up uh, double, basically the next track, which is the standard default one. Audio codec for both of them is um, HD audio, AAC, fine, uh, phone calls and media audio also will work for both. The main difference as well here is that we're able to update the firmware on the headphones, as well as allow automatic function, uh, automatic update directly uh, within the Bluetooth setting. So no app needs to be downloaded. And unfortunately, these settings are only available on OnePlus devices running the latest build of Oxygen OS on them. Uh, last but not least, we have a function tab that enables us to understand how to use the headset and of course, be able to find them in case we need to. And the best way to demonstrate the actual assistant, all I have to do is put them on and double tap and it opens up the assistant and I'm able to actually initiate conversations. And again, next track. The best way I find is that to be able to use the assistant since I can actually control almost all functions on my phone using the assistant, I can actually use it a lot better by just doing this. Open Instagram. So it's easier to control my device and of course get all the controls. Now when it comes to the wireless Bullet Z, we have a little bit different set of configuration. All we have essentially is the ability of turning on the HD audio, phone calls, media audio, and of course contact sharing. There's no Find My Device, but we are also able to see the battery level on here as it is 100% as I charged it up since, uh, since my last usage. So. Some of the controls that we have here are obviously a little bit more advanced that we get them here with the OnePlus Buds, but again, this is about $80 as opposed to $50. So let's go ahead and do a quick testing of the latency on this device. Now, to be able to use Fanatic mode using the testing option that I have here, I'm using an audio testing uh, application. So what we're going to do first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this one. I went ahead and connected it, installed it as a game in my game space. So then when I start the application, it's going to start up gaming mode is turned on. And then of course, then I'm going to turn on fanatic mode. Now fanatic mode needs to be initiated. I'll go ahead and say, got it. So you'll see that's where the icon sitting at the top right now. So the best thing we're going to do right now is I'm going to give you guys a, uh, basically an indicator and see where is the latency and do they perform pretty well as what they're basically offering us low latency on Bluetooth, specifically on OnePlus devices. And we'll go ahead and start off with the uh, OnePlus buds. I'm going to go ahead and put them on and we'll go ahead and start. So uh, roughly, this is generally what you can expect for the OnePlus Buds when we're talking about latency. So I'll go ahead and give it a second for you guys to be able to see that. And then for this one, I kept it pretty much the same configuration. We still have Fanatic mode running. I just went ahead and switched over to the OnePlus uh, Wireless Bullet Z. And we'll go ahead and start the same, same exact uh, example and see where the latency is sitting. So as we saw, both of the headphones in Fanatic mode are providing us somewhat of a lower latency. Now they're not under 100 milliseconds since this is audio with, over Bluetooth, but it's definitely a little bit over 100 milliseconds, but not close to 200 milliseconds. So again, really good, very usable. And I've played games with them for quite some time, for many hours with the OnePlus Bullet Z, as well as the OnePlus uh, here, the OnePlus Buds. Latency is not an issue. PUBG plays absolutely fantastic, and that's one of the games I just played. Uh, and just to kind of share you guys uh, exactly what I mean, I just played a game right before the actual uh, video started, and I was able to do, uh, we did actually do, uh, win, so there was a winner, winner, chicken dinner here uh, for me and the squad that I was playing with. And it was definitely a lot of fun being able to do this. So no latency issue as far as uh, basically, well, low latency of what we get here. Uh, not zero, since obviously wired will always be zero, but definitely pretty good for gaming on OnePlus devices. One of the other features that they talked about was the easy pairing or the switching between two different devices. So I'll go ahead and uh, take out the headphones and we'll give them a second. 
as you saw, first and foremost, they show up on both devices since they technically are within reach. Uh, and this will actually happen on any other device that has Bluetooth uh, discoverability of it turned on. But to be able to switch from one device to the other, you press and hold on one ear for three seconds. So I'll go ahead and put my finger on it. And within three seconds, the device will unpair from the current device and switch over to the other one. So you'll notice and give it a second here and it does switch over and it actually pairs here. Uh, this is exactly the same configuration that you have here with the OnePlus Buds. Uh, the Bullet Z is the only thing you have to do here is to, literally you double press the little power button here and it does the same functionality. Now on the Buds themselves, if I press and hold for three seconds again, and all it does essentially it'll switch to the last two devices that it's paired. Um, if I want to be able to add this to a different device, the simple way to do this is obviously is paired to a new device and whatever was the last one prior will be the last one that it keeps switching on between one over the other. Now, if you do pair it to anything other than a OnePlus device, you, for the most part, you just have the configuration here. If you happen to have two devices the way I have them, where I have a OnePlus device and a non OnePlus device, and you go through the settings in here and you reconfigure, you change the function of the double tap option, it actually does carry over to a non OnePlus device. And specifically for me, since I actually configured it to launch the assistant, I can double tap on it. And for me here, it's launching Bixby because that's the default one and I don't want to launch it here, but you could see what I mean. The default action of Next Track can be reconfigured to other non OnePlus devices. As long as you do it on a OnePlus, it is saved to the actual headphones themselves and you can use it with any other device. So definitely very nice as far as the configuration. Now, when it comes to audio quality between the two headphones, there's a little bit of a difference that we need to address. One is that the obviously the OnePlus Buds are open air, which means they allow a lot more noise to come in from the outside because they don't do any noise isolation isolation. We obviously are going to get a more of a, not as a very bassy sound. It definitely has some bass in there. It does sound good for, again, keep in mind that it is about $80, $79.99 in the US. So if you're looking for a pair of wireless headphones that are true wireless with a long battery life, quick charging from, you know, either directly using it with a OnePlus device or using it with any other smartphone, they're going to sound okay for about 80 bucks. That's the best way I can describe it. They're not going to impress you. They're going to sound good. Um, there obviously is a very low latency when you're playing with games, specifically games on OnePlus devices. And if you're using it with a non OnePlus device, it's pretty simple. It, it pretty much out of the box experience is going to be double tapping the, the button on it to be able to basically skip tracks forward. And if you press and hold for three seconds, you can have it jump from the existing paired device to the last paired device, Bluetooth device that's paired to it. So those functionalities will work across any device. When you want to start getting the best experience, you do need to have a OnePlus device. So if you're buying this, I recommend you doing that. And of course, from there, you'll get the best experience. You can reconfigure the buttons. The update just got pushed out last night. And of course, you're able to carry that over to other devices. So if you're using this, let's say, uh, with, a, with a OnePlus device, and then you have your other, other devices like a tablet or so, this will also function the same way and you're able to reconfigure it. So that's pretty good. When it comes to audio quality between these headphones and the wireless Bullet Z, I feel like because of the wireless Bullet Z give us a little bit better sound isolation from the outside. And what I mean by that is, this is using an open air experience. So this allows more sound to come in. You need to bump up the audio to be able to compensate for that. The wireless Bullet Z gives us the same experience with a much better sound isolation or a better seal around the ear canal, allowing for less noise to come in, meaning the audio will sound fuller. Uh, bass wise, they're very similar to each other. I'm not gonna say one sounds a lot heavier than the other. They're definitely budget headphones from both the ecosystem, either be it uh, the ear band or the neck band or the true wireless experience. Um, if you had to pick one over the other, I would probably say is it's more of the form factor of function. Uh, do you want, you know, true wireless? Do you want them to be small enough to fit in your pocket and not have to worry about having that whole neck band thing going on? Um, I think that's where the wireless bullets, uh, where the, uh, the bullets, the buds from OnePlus are going to give you the best experience. Uh, they're not going to break the bank. That's one thing to keep in mind. They pair very easily and work very good in gaming, specifically PUBG. That's, that's the main one that I always make sure to test it with because latency can definitely be a kind of a make it or break it kind of a situation. If you don't hear where the guy's coming from, if you don't hear them, you know, playing, you know, walking around you in the bushes or shots fire, you could basically be shot before even knowing that the game is even over. So for me, both of them are going to definitely give you guys a great experience there. From an audio quality, as far as microphones over calls, I feel like the wireless Bullet Z perform a little bit better as I feel like this is something more of a, I don't know why, but for some reason, when I did use these and I made a call, it, the other person on the other end said there was a little bit of an echo on my sound. They could hear me well, but they did sound a little bit, not as good as the Bullet's wireless Z. So if you had to compare the two, I would probably say audio quality goes to the Bullet's wireless Z. Uh, the OnePlus Buds definitely sound good, but again, keep in mind the experience at the $79.99 experience price point. 
So um, at the end of the day, I would recommend you basically picking up whatever works best for you. Uh, 50 bucks or 80 bucks, they're not that big of a difference there. Uh, I think overall the aesthetics is going to be the biggest concern that a lot of people maybe don't, not necessarily like the Wireless Bullet Z because you do need to actually have them sitting on your neck the whole time. You don't have a way of putting them away. When you're not using them, they're still sitting there. These, when they're, when they're not being used, you can put it in your pocket and then pretty much just move on. And I feel like that's where the more of the convenience comes in. So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Uh, we definitely have a good low latency. They're very close to what we get with the wireless Bullet Z. Uh, it's not going to be as good as wired connection. It's always going to be there. The wired will always be zero latency, but this is pretty low considering the fact that they're 80 bucks for the buds and of course, 50 bucks for the wireless Bullet Z. Uh, thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.